The Commonwealth Short Story Prize is one of the flagship projects of Commonwealth Writers and each year we get between five and 6,000 entries from writers all across the Commonwealth. Um, we have looked at the entries uh, to the prize and identified ones which show a lot of promise but don't quite make it to the shortlist uh, for whatever reason. Uh, so we thought we'd invite writers, those writers, to workshops in the different regions of the Commonwealth. The first one was held in Barbados last June and I'm now in Zambia for the second of these workshops. So we've invited selected writers from Botswana, Namibia, Lesotho, Malawi and of course from Zambia to a workshop this week at Chamanuka Lodge uh, under the leadership of Ellen van der Akel from Zambia and Damon Galgut from South Africa. This workshop is one of the best experiences I've ever had because it's a kind of has given me a new perspective of writing. And I think I didn't know that I didn't know what I was supposed to know. So I've got to understand that writing is not as much as what I thought, but it's more than just writing. Okay, so there's so much to writing that I didn't know. So if Africa has to be Africa it needs writing and uh, look at uh, our movies I think they have to depend on writing so the more we do write the better we are getting to be and I think a better Africa will always have to depend on uh, writing. My experience here has been very very amazing because it's been a long time since I actually sat down just to write and it's been a long time that I've actually sat down with brilliant intellectuals in the literature uh, more creative writing uh, field. So just sitting here and uh, being part of this whole thing means so much to me because I get to hear a lot of viewpoints and I get to learn so much from every single person who is talking because there's so many other things I forgot um, along the way due to my training and just listening to people it reminds me of all that and I think this is also for the betterment of my skill as a writer and the betterment of my dancing as as a as a writer so I am very thankful that I am here and I am learning so much and I know that my being here is going to enable me to do so much so many great things in the writing field Look at Africa, we have a shared history, we are coming from an era whereby we were subjugated, whereby we were colonized and um, our identities to a certain degree were taken away and uh, other, what is this, pioneer writers like Chinua Achebe or Wale Soinka actually created a platform whereby they said no, in order for the African to take control of his identity, he needed to write, he needed to write about his experiences, he needed to write about his people, about his culture and that's how the world can get to know us, the world will actually see that through our writing that we are actually a civilized people with a lot to offer than just our animals. I just feel really inspired to write and because I came here with a really low self-esteem I was looking at my draft and I was like oh, it's not working but after I came out I was really like it just gave me a new boost of energy and I I can tackle it like I feel like I can go to my room right now and just write the 4,000 words that I needed for the competition. I hope from now on my stories are going to be better and since I'm writing a novel currently, this is a big um, improvement on my work. Writing can bring change to a society. Writing can speak for those voices who can't speak for themselves. Writers are those voices for those people who can't express themselves. So far, two days in, and I really do believe I've learned a lot from the experience, like interacting with all the other writers, I've discovered that they have kind of some of the same concerns I do with writing and already some of them have been unpacked by both the other writers as well as the facilitators here and I really believe I've learned a lot and there's still so much more that I'm yet to gain from the experience. In fact, there are a lot of writers from back home that I believe if they actually took the time and had submitted work to the Commonwealth Writers that maybe some or one of them would also be here right now because 
there are a lot of people who show interest in writing, especially young people these days, or uh, at least where I come from in my surroundings. So I do believe there's a bright future for writing in Africa. It is an opportunity to, to talk, to speak to others uh, through my words. I'm, I'm not keen on talking as in, you know, but so uh, to be able to put my words down on writing and to, to share what it is I know or to question things that uh, trouble me, I think the best way to do it is through writing. And really um, for Africa to be able to understand that education um, using art is one of the, the greatest ways to free uh, the minds of bedroom children, youth, adults. Meeting people from different countries and that are different writing journeys. Uh, you know, as much as you think it's such a lonely profession, <laughs> profession, it's also um, very fulfilling. So it's, it's, it's nice to have people who, who, with whom you are uh, in the same journey. Um, it doesn't really matter how many things you you win, because for me, it's always like, yes, I need to win this, but um, sometimes. It, it, it's a journey, you know. And if you don't, if you don't win anything, it doesn't mean you're not good. It just means you're probably not there yet, or it just, it's just not your time yet. So I think people shouldn't write to win all the time because sometimes you write to win and then you don't. It's easy for you to just give up. I think writing is important because not only do you archive, but also um, you get to share ideas. Through checking and exchanging ideas and exchanging the stories. I'm able to see the areas that I might need to work on, areas that I might uh, need to strengthen. So for me, this has given me a platform to do, sort of like conduct a survey of the readership out there, meaning that I've been able to bounce off a few stories with the rest of the writers, with the rest of the participants here, to sort of understand what type of responses they get to my stories and for me to gauge the worthiness of my stories and so for me this workshop has really been helpful in that regard. For me writing is a way to express myself, so a way to get out of my own head and to stop worrying so much about what people are thinking and what's going on in the world and just express myself. I have so far gained a lot from the Commonwealth Writers Workshop. I think for the most part is a feeling of confidence, a little more confidence in myself and in my writing. And it's been good to be able to ask questions of other writers and of the facilitators as well. Uh, I think that we have so many tribes, so many provinces and so many stories. And to Zambian writers I would just say just write your stories and write your truth and I think from that we'll get a lot of greatness. We can only grow by sharing, learning. Nobody sees us to learn. Every writer learns something from each day. I think the best advice is always whenever you see an opportunity to write, you don't think so much about the prize or winning the prize, but think of it as an experience to write. First of all, it's supposed to get you writing and it also improves your skill in writing and writing. Because the more you write, the better you become. Writing is, as they say, practice. And the first job of a writer is to write. And not to worry so much about getting published, about who getting the book out there. Because you can't have that portion of the book unless you have written something. So therefore the most important thing is to write. Not everybody uh, is receptive to what the workshop provides, but for those who are, there is uh, most definitely uh, an improvement in standard, which is the point of a workshop. Um, I think they also put younger would-be writers in touch with each other um, so that some kind of dialogue can happen. One of the problems with uh, writing in Africa is that there often isn't a sense of community amongst writers. Um, there isn't enough connection, there isn't a place for writers to meet and speak. Um, a lot of countries lack bookshops. Um, so a workshop situation is slightly artificial, but it does provide a forum where that kind of dialogue and conversation can take place and hopefully people will stay in touch after the workshop is over and continue the dialogue. 
Whether books actually bring about change in the world, that's an open-ended question that people have asked for a long time. There are certain books that do, you know, they often tend to be religious texts or political texts, but I would like to think that novels in a maybe slower and more cumulative way change the way that people think about themselves. Um, I wouldn't want to live in a world without books, um, so uh, I like to think that a workshop like this is a very, very tiny contribution um, to cultural life um, and to the kind of tissue of thoughts with which people communicate with each other, that our lives are richer because of books. Um, even if governments don't fall because of them, we tend to think differently because of them and that matters. Why I think writing particularly works in terms of fiction is that it makes us question ourselves in a sort of indirect manner. We're not teaching, we're not preaching or spelling out. But just through reading, you sort of question where we're at and what we're doing. And I think it has a subtle way of effecting change. So my advice is for them to carry on writing, to submit to prizes when they can, not be discouraged when they're not, because they can only be one winner but to also use this sort of opportunity to write stories and build up a portfolio as a writer. I also think in a continent where perhaps a lot of people aren't professional writers because they just isn't that environment to possible as a professional writer, having space where you can come and forget about everything else and focus on writing is vital. I can't put enough value on that. And I've seen here, because the writers here have really focused and spent all their time writing, so it's a very good space and time to write. And I think for any writer all over the world, the most important time is actually the time to write. So for us, stories are incredibly important. Um, we at Commonwealth Writers very much believe in that transformative power of stories. Um, because stories help people make sense of the world. They can imagine a better world. So ultimately, they can bring about change they can make people think differently and maybe even act differently. And so for us that's why um, we have such a focus on the power of stories. Just to thank them for selecting me. I don't really know what the selection criteria was but I'm just grateful I'm here and I plan to make the best of this opportunity. Opportunities such as these are so few and far between. Um, to be able to bring two established writers together to workshop us, uh, to be able to engage with writers that, it, who are at different uh, stages of their writing careers, some are beginning, some are um, slightly more experienced. But I think we're all of us learning, and so that this opportunity is, is, is great, and I look forward to many more invitations. If in such workshops could be our course, we are these days with the age of the internet and online sessions, online classes to help people would be very helpful to learn and it would be even cheaper if they cannot make it to a venue like Chandra or a place for the five days of flying people in. But I think making resources available that writers can access and get used to and also more opportunities for writers I think is one that would advise the organizers to I'm very grateful to Commonwealth Foundation. This is amazing. It's actually a step from the lower level that I was at to this position where I can actually call myself a writer. So I'm very grateful and I don't think I'll ever stop <laughs> entering the, the Commonwealth Foundation uh, contest. I'd like to say keep investing in Africa, keep looking at Africa. Uh, we have stories to tell, all of us, and so yes, I would say keep investing in us. So I think it's a good, very good initiative by the Commonwealth, and hopefully there will be more of this kind of workshops to go. The participants, I think, have been very enthusiastic. I think they've, um, I hope they've learned something from it. I do think there's a lot of benefit from having these sort of workshops which are interactive because then you learn from others as well as from the facilitators. The Commonwealth Foundation, I would say, um, continue doing programs of this nature is really helpful. I feel writing has a role to play in ensuring that we improve the reading culture. Uh, if we have to make people get interested in reading, we have to write and we have to write interesting stories.